Hey guys, hey guys, welcome to Nothing Geek TV. And today I got a Fly Quick Plus smartphone with me. Uh, the company was out of uh, India for a, a long time, and now they have made a comeback by launching three budget smartphones for the masses, which are uh, exclusively available on Snapdeal.com. So this is the most uh, high-priced uh, budget smartphone they are offering. This is the Quick Plus device. Uh, I'll just uh, run you down through the features quickly. Uh, the display. Uh, is 5 inch guys as you can see the phone is powered up by 1 GB of RAM and a MediaTek a 1.7 GHz processor uh, this octa core processor and uh, the rear camera as you can see this is a 13 megapixel camera uh, while with the flash while the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel one uh, which is good for shooting selfies uh, we'll be checking the quality uh, right now expandable memory is 32 GB and uh, The internal inbuilt memory is 8 GB. So, the phone is running on Android KitKat 4.4 OS. Let's check out. So, as you can see, this is Android 4.4 uh, operating system. I'll show you uh, the RAM available on the first boot. So, first, let's check out the storage space. So total space is 1.14 GB which is internal and SD card 7.45 GB out of which 5.56 GB is available to me uh, which is pretty uh, good enough storage. Further I can also insert a memory card uh, in the phone. So guys now I'll show you the RAM which is available on the first boot. So guys hopefully you can see 476 MB has been used the phone is currently not uh, running any apps uh, rather than the default apps and uh, the user available memory is 478 MB so this is the total number amount of RAM uh, when all right we have temple run OS and uh, temple run uh, 2 installed and a couple of other games so this is the default RAM which is available without uh, running all uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp or uh, any other application. So now let's check out the camera guys. I'll just click uh, image. So guys, as you can see, the 13 megapixel camera, it's just more of a number thing. The quality is it's not that happening, guys. It's more of a 5 megapixel camera. It works like a 5 megapixel camera. You can see the quality yourself. I click the images in uh, front of you and uh, it's a pretty average camera. You can say it works like a 5 uh, MP camera. Apart from that, we have HDR feature, uh, uh, panorama shot. This will uh, enable you to capture panorama shots. The good thing guys about this phone is uh, from the quick review I saw um, the build quality is pretty good. The back uh, got a metallic finish although it's, it's plastic but uh, it's decent even enough. The camera lens is it's not bulging out that much and the phone is really slick and it feels like one is holding a premium device in the hand. Uh, the display too it, it's nice. It's 5 inch uh, decent HD display, however the camera is not up to the mark guys, 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel camera quality is it's more of a uh, uh, number on the paper, uh, the image quality is not that happening.